11. Here we go. You, uh, it's uh, Ricardo Pera under real pressure. The Peugeot's in there as well. That's not going to help the Porsche. It's not going to help either Porsche. Uh, so the second place car of Mikkel Pedersen having a run. Mikkel Pedersen didn't quite get close enough. He's got much fresher tyres than Ricardo Pera. And Nico Veroni is right there as well. If Veroni plays his card right, he might get by both of them. That would be tough. They got the road blocked, haven't they, between the pair of them on the run up towards Ascari. So, uh, oh, Ricardo Pera braves it out on the inside line and compromises stuff. his pace into Ascari. This might come towards the Corvette of the Parabolica. He's, He's got a great run, and Yeah, brilliant run. He's just slipped out there, the slipstream, oh. after that fantastic exit from the Ascari chicane. He now gets in the slipstream of the other Porsche in front and gets the job done. That's one of them down in towards the final corner. Next up will be into turn one. And there's uh, a hypercar Porsche in the mix as well, <laughs> slicing his way through under and over and into the pit lane. Pera paints himself onto the white line on the inside. He's going to make the Corvette go the long way. Yeah, he tried to break the yeah. But it's not going to work. He's under immense pressure here. He ducks at the last minute to the inside to defend that yeah. line and uh, holds on for now. But nice, clean defence. One Ooh, move job. into the middle of the road. He is doing a great job. I wonder how long the stint remains. The weak part of the track for him seemed to be the Ascari chicane. And that's what uh, Veroni would be thinking as well. It's like a high-speed game of chess going on as the Cadillac slips through that battle for the lead of LMP2, that three-way fight. There's van der Garde coming through, then the Cadillac, then you've got Habsburg in the 31, and then Rasmussen in the 28 Jota. Yeah, van der Garde is gap, don't forget, a couple of laps ago was only half a second, so that's really opened up. He's had a break somewhere in traffic. GR leading from Corvette Racing and Dempsey Proton. That is your 1-2-3 in GTE Am, and the fourth Here we go. car not far behind. Here we go, what a fantastic exit there from Veroni around the exit of Lesmo 2. That's where he was strong before. He's strong there again this time, okay. and drafts past the Porsche on the run towards, <laughs> <laughs> with a thumbs up by Kasberg. He approves with no. He's not giving up. Well, no, Ricardo Pera will not give up. Peroni sticks it out there and he goes through. Peroni, though, will be the first of these three back onto pit lane. Then after that, some little while later, it will be Pera and then Pedersen. What did Corvette Racing do in Monza last year? They won in, in GTE, Pro. GTE Pro. Could they win in GTE Am as well a year on? And closing and pretty rapidly is Michelle Gatti. Yeah. Uh, she would well, have been because the, the yeah because he was in that that oh, three-way fight. Oh, oh, why is he going to the pits? Well, he obviously needs to. But Mikkel Pedersen was way out there, almost in the gravel, exiting the parabolica.